I've been into health was profound because I feel like all my relationships are profound and impactful in my life and part of my journey of discovering myself. But I would just, since I have to pick one, there's one when I was in my early 20s, late teens, early 20s that really impacted me powerfully when, when it ended. It was one of those relationships that kept pulling me back in. You know, it could be uh, you know, like was, we were together and you were madly in love and I thought he was the one and then we were, it was over, like in an instant, and I, I didn't see it coming, all of a sudden he went back with his ex-girlfriend, and I went to his house, and her picture was back up on the wall where he had taken it down, and, and I remember my heart just absolutely sunk to the floor when I saw that, because I didn't even know it was over, he hadn't actually had a conversation with me or anything, so I was just like, whoa, you know, and so it was really hard for me to accept, and I was really, really just grieving it was like it was like a, just like this grief I can't even describe it any other way I was crying I remember thinking you know at some point that I didn't think that I had that much water in my body to be able to cry that much you know to just sob and sob and sob and I wrote lots of lyrics and chorus and songs from it and so you know I'm grateful for every ounce of pain that that relationship brought me and everything that I learned from that loss but it was extremely painful, and even for actually several years after that, he would draw me back in and be like, oh, let's, you know, get back together, and, you know, so it was a back and forth, and then just like this heart tug of war until I finally set myself free of it, but it was really painful. This is a song for love. they are and who they are for me and how they touched my life and how I see them but also like with the mindset of like this is something for everyone Retrospect, we can look back and go, wow, I when I broke up with that person, that person broke up with me, or that ended, it created this opportunity, or I learned this powerful lesson. You know, I, I realized I realized through that process who I am or or what I want in another person. You know, so many of my of my exes have taught me what I do not want. <laughs> and many of my exes also taught me what I do want. I could just say, I, I really like that quality about that person. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on my list of things that I'm really looking for in someone or that was awful. Like I was in an abusive relationship. That was horrible, you know, to be treated that way. I, I refuse to be treated that way in the future. So we get to kind of refine and define, you know, ourselves in the process and like who we are looking for in a mate and in a partner. And and that that process of pain helps us grow. Like Yoshi was saying, it helps you grow as a person. It helps you be stronger and 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 just learn and be in that state of surrender where you can see.
definition of the love story um, is when you when two individuals on their own path of loving and losing and loving and losing and loving and losing they find themselves in such a powerful way and they discover themselves and create themselves really powerfully in the world and for themselves and love themselves so amazingly and are in their full expression as individuals that they can come together without needing the other, but just offering their wholeness to each other. They're offering their whole, complete, authentic self to one another, and then continue to grow and learn together on that in that space. And that's something that I hope to create in my life through, you know, my future partnership that, you know, can can glow into that space. I have friends that are definitely amplifying that for, for me and inspiring me with, with how they are loving like that, and I watch them through their process for many years and it's really a beautiful thing to see two people come together as whole individuals and, and, and partner in life like this.
love a little over a year ago, and I've been working on my music and cultivating the art that I want to put out into the world and collaborating with some really amazing, fabulous people and really just honing in who I am as an artist and really dialing in what type of expression uh, and how I want to offer that out into the world through music. And it's just been wonderful. Yeah. And you interviewed with The Love Story almost a year ago, a little bit, um, a little more than a year ago. And at the time, you were sharing about your breakup. Yeah. And you were putting out your first of the four EPs, Passion. And I find it very ironic because now you are now doing your debut for your second EP, which is Broken, mm -hmm. and um, your personal life has shifted. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the shift? Yeah. So I'll briefly just explain. So this journey through love that I've been on that I, I got a download to do this offering of four EPs, Passion, Broken, Dream, and Awake. And it's this journey through love. It's passion, where we fall in love and we be in love, and then there's broken, where we feel heart, heartache and the heartbreak. And what I didn't know when I got this download to write these songs and to put these EPs out was that it, I was going to be getting taken on that journey. And so I actually uh, released Passion, and I didn't actually find that I was ready to release Broken until I had the complete breakup from my previous relationship. And then I started recording and, and, write, and getting this one ready to be released because I was in that space. And somewhere along that journey, I met my current partner and fell deeply in love and started writing for Dream. So it's just, it's one of those things where everyone else gets to hear it after it happened, right? So the songs on Broken are very much from that last relationship where it was ending and there was a lot of angst and a lot of frustration and a lot of hurt. And the next one will come out and it'll be sourced from this beautiful love relationship that I'm in now. I definitely think it's divine timing. I think that that, that is sourcing everything that we all do. And it's, um, it's, the under, it's the undercurrent that drives all of us, whether we're present to it or not. And like I said, I didn't really know the ride that I was getting on when I got this, this message to, to bring this art forth and to, and to write these songs and to put them out. Uh, however, I have learned that I'm on this ride and that's why when I talk about this or when I write about this offering of these four EPs, I just say I'm inviting you to take this journey with me because it's definitely a journey and it's wonderful to get to celebrate all the aspects of love, not just the fun, sparkly stuff, but to recognize that the heartache and the, and the brokenness and the hurt and the grief and the loss and all the struggles and challenges that we face inside of the love conversation and inside of relationships are just as important as the fun upswing of it all, the, the mountainside. So we need all of it in order to shape us and mold us into the lovers that we are. I envisioned all four of these while I was in the one that wasn't working. And so I just, had that inner knowing and that hope that the dream songs would show up, meaning the dream man would show up, meaning that relationship that would fully feed my soul, the man that would really meet me and reflect my love fully, that he would come through. And so I threw my hat over, so to speak. I threw my hat over with love. And I said, I knew, I just knew that it was coming. And so the Dream album is already my favorite and I haven't even finished writing it yet. <laughs> but of course, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I just, it's, it's just a wonderful process to be in while I'm celebrating the broken and I'm offering the conversation around being in a celebration of that shadow side and recognizing that it's all perfect, that that past relationship gave me this amazing contrast so that when my, when my lover showed up, I was like, yes, please, I'll have some of that. And so I love getting to write Dream now in this beautiful supported relationship. I love getting to offer Broken with him by my side because I feel so stable and supported. And having my love cup so full from, from him is allowing me, I feel, to just fully be in my fullest expression. 
and to really focus on my art form because that cup is so full, I'm not concerned. I'm not in that broken state, you know, I am fully just mm, so in love. And so, yeah, it, I think it makes creating art easier for me. Mm -hmm.